Alright, I hope you don't mind me, Freddy, saying this, because this cracked me up and it reminds me of the early days of eBay. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave. And as we've been doing lately, I don't know if you like it or not, but we've been going back and forth. I have a, most of my inventory in the Commonwealth cabin at this point, but I still have a lot of stuff here in the cave. I've got a lot of stuff up here. I've got a lot of clothes in here. I've got a few things back on these shelves, so we're going back and forth. But we've had some things in here that have been really, really quick sellers. So board games, board game parts, that stuff's all still in here. CDs, DVDs, video games, that kind of thing. Even some sporting equipment. Those things are still in here. So we're going to take care of those things first. Those things have been selling really quickly. Almost as quick as I can list them. So I had my oldest boy, I had Bubba go through what I would call my death pile and had him organize it a little bit because we've moved a lot of this inventory out to the Commonwealth cabin and I had some shelving over here and so my death pile is now going to be organized if there is such a thing and we've created some bins in here we're putting like items in those bins and then so when I want to go and find something that's selling right then I'll have a whole bin and I can pull it out so we have a bin full of board games and video games and entertainment type stuff and I hope to list that in the next few days because this stuff's selling as fast as we can list it. So before we head out to the Commonwealth cabin, we're gonna take a look at what's sold in here, and then we're gonna go out there and check that out. We had a gift come to us at the P.O. Box, which is always appreciated. We thank you guys when you do that. It's not necessary. It's very kind when you do it. And we had a homeschool hustler sale as well, and this one was not to a viewer, but I like to have the kids say thank you anyways, and you know it's part of the deal. That's how they get their dollar to save, their dollar to spend, and their dollar to donate, and that's how we do it. And that reminds me, now that we're headed out there, I have a common. I think it's today, there's an episode coming out on Commonwealth Flipper, or maybe it already has, that I thought you'd get a kick out of. And I think if I've got my day straight, and sometimes, y'all, it's hard to figure this stuff out, I think we have a video coming out over there, and it's entitled, You Might Be a Reseller If. I think that's what it's entitled, or something like that. It's kind of a play on, you know, You Might Be a Redneck. We did a fun little video because all of us have spent so much time at home, we figured we'd come up with something fun to do, and that was kind of our fun attempt at that. We put it over on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. So if you get a chance, go check that one out. But in the meantime, let's check out what's sold here. All right, first one is this Xbox, old style, you know, old green Xbox, not the 360, just old Xbox Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Got everything with it. It's $18.41 free shipping. Pretty good little sale. I ask a little bit more than I typically would. I would have sold this a couple months ago, probably for $16.99. Asked a little bit more and got it. Not much, but just a little bit. And let me give you a little hint. I'll tell you, and I don't want to insult the folks that sell this stuff all the time, but if you're a new reseller, usually what I do, I don't know, I think human psychology is interesting. So when I take pictures of these things, I have these two little stands right here. Let me pull them out. I take these two little stands, and one's a little taller than the other. And I put the case on one, I open it up, prop it open so it's standing up straight. And then I put the disc down here, leaning against it, against my back wall here. And then I put the pamphlets on the other side, sitting up. So it makes it look much bigger than it is. I'm looking at the image here right now, and it's got four different things in it. And it looks a lot bigger. You might not think it matters, but when you present a picture that looks bigger than the other pictures, or they see all facets of it, or maybe they're looking to pick up a game that has the pamphlet, has the paperwork with it. If they see it in the picture, it's a lot quicker for them to see it than it is to go down and read every single title. So if you're trying to sell a video game, there's a couple little hints. Get a bigger picture, make it look like there's four things even though there's one. And the other thing is to put the word complete in the title. Some people do use that and type that in when they're looking up items. So I know a lot of you know that because you're expert reseller. That's just a little hint I figured I'd pass on to some of the newbies. I found that Bob Jones lot of CDs not too long ago, and this one was the one that I pulled out and wanted to sell separately, and it sold for $14.50. It's just a Patch the Pirate uh, disc CD, I guess. So, at any rate, they sell pretty good. It's new, but it has a little damage on it, so I think I put new other, I can't remember. This was the only one like that out there, so I might have put new and then described it, but I probably put new other, so... 
I'm not quite sure. But it looks like a new eBayer bought this thing right here. So both of those items right there, a CD that will probably end up being used in some way, shape, or form for some homeschooling of some sort. Maybe not, but that's probably what they're using it for. It is a Christian CD, and those CDs tend to have a message with them. And the other item, the video game, are perfect examples of what's selling right now. And most of you all know that out there. But if you have that stuff stuffed away somewhere, or maybe it's even your personal stuff and you want to start selling, that's where I think I'd start. I think you could get a few pretty quick sales that way. Here's another one. This is a VHS. There's two VHS here. These are not great titles. I decided to lot them up and sell them instead of donate them. This is Night Patrol and Naked Space, which is a Leslie Nielsen comedy. They came from the Hot Moms sale because if you remember, if you've been around long enough, that guy who sold them to us for five bucks, we got a box for five bucks, was wearing a shirt that says, I love Hot Moms. And his mom was at the garage sale too, which made it a little bit awkward. At any rate, these sold for $5.90 plus shipping. So they were not a big profit, but we are well into the profit on these anyway. So it is all profit at this point, and we'll just call it four bucks and we'll add it to our total. All right, so here is the I Love Hot Mom sale. $5 purchase. We have made profit now $162 so far, and we still have a few to go. So don't let anybody tell you that VHS is totally worthless. Only 95% of VHS is totally worthless. All right, I'm not gonna show you this because I don't wanna take it out of the bag. I've been storing them in this. So these are eight Rawlings baseballs and they're all Carolina League baseballs. And we live around a Carolina League baseball team. Just minor league baseballs that were probably fouled off. People collected them and then they had them and they sold them at a garage sale. I bought them for 50 cents a piece. So I'm $4 into these. I sold them for 38.95 free shipping. So this is the kind of item I would do free shipping, even though it's not first class, because I know I can fit eight baseballs into here. So every time I get eight Carolina League baseballs, I create a listing. If I buy them for a quarter here, a dollar here, whatever I pay for them, I create a listing and I do free shipping on it because I know that this item here is going to cost me $7.52 to ship it out. So I can calculate my profit. I'm $4 into the baseballs at 50 cents a piece. I'm $7.50 in, in shipping. And the fees on that are roughly gonna be around five bucks. So that's five, four equals nine, nine, let's call it eight, $17. So I'm gonna make a profit of 22 bucks on this right here, which is pretty good because I find these all the time. All right, we got a couple of cool sales in the Commonwealth cabin in there, and then we'll let the homeschool hustlers tell you what's sold, and then we'll come back in here and finish it up. So let's go. All right, I have two items that I'm not going to talk too much about because I've been talking about them a lot lately. Another Colorado University puzzle sold. I'm not going to grab that one because they look so nice up there. I'm going to come back here and grab this one. So only two more of those left. One more of the Arizona, I guess two more because there's one in there. I guess the Utah ones and the Pitt ones are the slow sellers, I guess. So I'm going to grab that one and then I sold a kid size, a kid size Liberty shirt for eight bucks, which is, you know, it's going to ship out really, really cheap. I probably got that for a quarter is my guess or free. I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for that, to be honest with you. And we're not making very much money on that. Maybe, maybe a couple of bucks. So those two sold, but we've got one other one here that sold and I'm really excited about it. But before I show you that one, I almost forgot Steve from, I think Have Original is the name of the eBay store, sent me a nice message and asked me to autograph one and bought an Animan and one is headed your way, Steve. Hope you enjoy and we hope he brings you great luck. And here's the item that I'm pretty excited about. So this electric football, NFL electric football, and the reason we bought it, and I didn't even see it, the lady I was buying it from me had to point it out to me. I didn't do enough research on it. I had sold these in the past, but I didn't realize they have this much value. This particular one was a pretty good one. It was missing a few parts. It wasn't the right teams to make it worth a ton, but it still was pretty good. Model 620. And if you remember the video, let me swing around here and I'll show you this video. This is the video that we bought it in for maybe a month ago or so. I think we bought all kinds of stuff. We're going to end up making a pretty good amount of money. I wasn't sure about this one. I wasn't sure how long it would take to sell, but it did sell. 
and we made a nice little profit on it. So $89.95 plus shipping. And the shipping charges don't look too bad. And I did calculate it on this one. I measured it all out. Basically, when I do something like this, I measure it all out and I add an inch on all sides and then I weigh it. And that's pretty much how I do it. So now I've got to figure out what kind of box we're going to put that thing in. Hopefully I have the right kind of box that we don't have to Frankenbox too much. But we're going to have to Frankenbox. There's just no way, no way around that one, I'm afraid. We had a sale out of the Homeschool Hustler store. Turner, you want to tell them what's on? A poppy. A poppy. What movie is that from? Uh, Trolls. Trolls, that's right. Does it do anything? Your best friend? No. I like it. All right, that sold for $8 plus shipping. $8 plus shipping. So you're going to get a dollar to save, a dollar to spend, and a dollar to donate. You want to say thanks? Thank you. All right. I almost forgot to get this guy in. This one's going out to the Tulsa Picker, Billy Williams. He says, I'm a viewer on both of your channels, of which I really enjoy and have learned a lot, especially the when in doubt parted out. I have had an eBay store for about a year and a half part-time and I am learning what to buy and what not to buy. I am I wish I would learn that too. Sometimes I buy things and I just, I don't know, I got a problem. I'm learning to take a risk on the higher priced items. Like others, I want to place this in my eBay room for inspiration. <laughs> would you mind signing it? Love your family. God bless and be safe. Well, I absolutely can do that for you, Billy, and thanks for such kind words and we hope he brings you great luck and God bless you and we hope you stay safe as well. All right, this is a plain black t-shirt that sold for $35. So it's Robert Barakett, B-A-R-A-K-E-T-T. -T. So that is not a name that I often find around here. Uh, matter of fact, this came from North Carolina, it came from my uncle. It's a pretty, pretty great name apparently. So if you guys are familiar with that name, put it in the comments. I don't find high-end clothing around here. So for a t-shirt to sell for 35 bucks is pretty darn good here. It's a plain black t-shirt. now. The original tag on it, and it is an extra large, is $59.50. So I just picked that price. I think I actually put it out there for $40. And somebody just asked a bunch of questions. And one of the questions they asked is if it was Pima Cotton. And normally I do this, and I didn't do this this time. So if you go, I don't want to insult some of you who, who have been doing this forever. But if you go into the inside tag down at the bottom of the shirt, it'll usually tell you. If it doesn't tell you up here, and a lot of shirts don't, you go down here it'll tell you and this was Pima cotton and it's always good and I always do it with the polos to put Pima cotton in the listing if it is Pima cotton and he asked if it was and if it was if I'd take 35 bucks and I said sure and so we made the sale and it is pure profit because this was a gift not a gift for me to wear a gift for me to resell all right, here's a little piece of Tupperware, and I don't sell nearly as much as I used to. At the beginning of this show, you'd see me selling Tupperware every single show, and it's because we have those antique booths, which are, of course, shut down right now, and all the Tupperware I have is sitting inside those antique booths, and I have a feeling it's just going to stay there for a while. This is a deli meat keeper, or I think sometimes they call it a marinator, and so it's just, let's see if I can remember, $12.92 is the number for this one some people put you know meat keeper that kind of stuff on it and it sold for 10.95 if you remember i picked this up at a garage sale not that long ago it was a church charity fundraiser sale for a, a haiti fundraiser and i think we paid 50 cents for it which is not too much money and it's over 10.95 it'll ship out for eight ounces i might put a piece of bubble wrap around it and put it in a poly bag i might just stick it in a poly bag you really can't break these things unless they're really old and kind of crispy anyways but this one's in really good shape and i've shipped them that way many many times and so it'll be around a five dollar and fifty cent profit for us all right and last but not least i almost don't even want to show you these because you'll be like what in the world are you selling those for so these are turkey feet Turkey feet, <laughs> 14.50 free shipping. Don't ask, don't ask. 14.50 free shipping, and they will ship out for under eight ounces. They uh, they're probably really close to four, but once we box them up and everything, it'll be a little bit more than that. So at any rate, we're gonna go back out to the Commonwealth cabin and check out a couple of gifts that a few folks sent us, and thank them for sending that to us. So we appreciate it. And listen, we hope you all are doing well out there. We hope you're coping well with all that's going on around us, and we hope and pray. 
that everybody out there who is on the front lines of this is staying safe. So thanks so much for joining us each and every night. And we can't wait to see you again. Don't forget, go over to the Commonwealth Flipper channel and have a little laugh at the video we put out today. Hopefully you enjoy it. And hopefully you can chime in and give us a few additions to our You Might Be a Reseller If video that we put out over there. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time. All right, I really got to show you something, but before I do, let me just send a thank you out to Dakota, who sent a really nice message, and he makes decals, sells decals on eBay, Scale Restoration Station, and I think that's it. Hey, I need some decals. Hey, hit me up in an email. Maybe you can make me some decals. Hey, uh, this is great. I hope you don't mind me, Freddie, saying this, because this cracked me up, and it reminds me of the early days of eBay when I used to get envelopes full of cash as a payment before <laughs> before everybody was forced into doing electronic payments, you would get cashier's checks and you would get checks and you would get cash, and you would get money orders, all kinds of stuff that makes me laugh. So at any rate, this is a, obviously it's a New Jersey plate and Freddie writes a neat little message here. Freddie, we do appreciate it. And he basically says, hey, we're gonna do a trade here, the plate and the money, and you're gonna send me an Intiman. So you better believe it, we definitely will. Hope you don't mind me saying that, that's awesome. We appreciate you, and we thank you very much. I mean, I'll tell you, this is living. Sitting in here, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these two. Hi, y'all. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Turner. I was just filming out the window and telling people how wonderful it is to be working uh, like 20 feet from your house. Oh.